seek the kingdom and all will be given to you. In an upside down world you get a mirrored reflection of it. So welcome to what looks to be Dracula's castle. So what we're going to do, we're going to go in through the arch, the arsehole. The arch, the anus, is a total arsehole. <laughs> so we'll go through that. I'll pause this until we get further on. There's something I want to show you all. And a bit further on, yet another arch. So we go up the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one steps. Then we step down. That is the ship's wheelhouse. Why is there a ship's wheelhouse? Well there is the ball bag, the testicle area. So a wheelhouse, like any vessel, will need cane and able bodied seamen. We'll carry on. So here we are, we've walked up the shaft, we're now about to go over the cross. The way of the cross, things that make you go, hmm. So we're going to go to the head of things now. So here we have the sheath line. We're going to go around my amusement park now. I'm going to show you something as we go round. Number one, Jesus is condemned to death. <coughs> Number two, Jesus accepts the cross. Don't worry about the little illustrations, the three-dimensional idols. Number three, Jesus falls for the first time. Whoop! Watch your step there. Number four, Jesus meets his mother. Number five, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. Thank you, Simon. Number six, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. That there, now we are at the tip of the head. This I claim as my throne. It's the ejector seat, the ejaculation seat, which I will show you in the little diagram as shown from a higher perspective when you see things from above. So we carry on on this little fun ride. Number seven, Jesus falls for the second time. Whoops, here we go again. Number eight, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. And one before the cross, Jesus falls for the third time. Whoops, mind your step. Number ten, Jesus is stripped of his garments, but who said you were naked? And number 11, so that's one and one, or have you got a crossed eye? Jesus is nailed to the cross. I think we need to sit down for a minute and rest a while on this wooden seat. <sighs> Recover ourselves. Should only take about three and a half seconds before we rise again. Now you've got your roll back. So in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and, of course, then you descend. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and into the hole you go. Which you will find over here, which is an inverted K. 
castle which has been turned into a hell hole so that's that bit so I'll go and sit on my throne now so this little uh, fun ride it's basically meditation Jesus trips three times. Everything's a trinity, mind, body, and soul. So it's perseverance. You accept that you accept you are condemned when you come into this reality. When you accept that your body is your cross, because you are not your personality, you are the eternal spirit. Well, that's why you go through this journey. It's all about meditation. The mother is your heart. Veronica, who wipes the face, it's removing the mask. I sat here yesterday. It was a even more blue sky than it is now. And it was quite amusing. This couple walk, walking round the head and uh, the lady said to me, you picked the right place to sit. <laughs> I said, I know, I am. And then when we went down to the wheelhouse, I met two of the most beautiful souls. Uh, a gentleman who knows all about the skin being the third kidney, who is very well informed about things, not least the uh, needle craft. And the other gentleman is a self-taught musician of 30 years. And so he, uh, he can split sound into individual notes and with a little bit of practice, he can master it and play pretty much anything. So the ground plan of this place, every picture tells a story. So the wheelhouse is down here, this bit here roughly, and you can see what you've got here. Then when you go up here, we've just this is where we've just been round and then sort of circles back for that lower level. So it makes sense that my throne is right on the ejaculation point, the ascension point. I sat here yesterday and right in the centre of both palms. I turn my hands up, the palms upwards, because it's not a hidden hand, everything is open. And I could feel like a burning right in the very centre of my palm, on both palms. And I thought, well, this is beautiful. This is such a wonderful experience. And the sunlight was just the world has stayed, so I'm acting the role, and so I could feel my entire body just filling with light, and that feeling, you just want to shout it from the roof, rooftops, and it's like, I don't care about your personalities and what you believe in or don't believe in. You can look at flat earth, but I could present to you... Uh, a new, it's a new playlist I've put together, Psychiana. It's a series of lectures. There's 14 so far. Uh, Dr. Frank B. Robinson. Um, those of you that are clinging to the flat earth thing will not like his interpretation of things and your flat earth suddenly becomes vertical and becomes a wall that you cannot get over. So how flat is your flat earth really? <laughs> Remember this is all concepts in the mind. Get way beyond that. So while I'm sitting here and it feels like the centres of my palms and my hands are burning like nails going in that's what the feeling was like. I don't care whether you believe me or not. It matters not. But, uh, yes, I met two very beautiful souls. I could see the light in their eyes. I could feel their energy. Our common denominator was the other two were alcoholics. This vessel 
bordered on becoming an alcoholic at one point, but managed to turn away just at the right time. As the universe provided, it was an event that happened, a death in the family, someone I was very close to, and uh, that jolted me, that was a shock. The vessels are electrical, so that's why you, you feel shock when th certain things happen. But give the Psychiana um, playlist a go. Um, it will make wonderful sense. Listen also to Manly P. Hall on the uh, latest lecture on astrology and pandemics. That will begin hopefully to make sense to you. So I did, I put into practice, I, it's taking the bull by the horns, the Taurus bull, where all the bullshit started and just proclaiming and being and acting on this world stage. I am, my father and I are one, I get it. I am filled with light inside, I want to shout it from the rooftops. I want everybody to feel how I feel. And I am doing this and I'm speaking in absolute honesty, total truth here. I am doing this for very, very selfish reasons because we are one. It is all about one. The self is one. So by me doing this for self, proving this to myself and sharing it, I want to share myself. I want to share it with all of you. I, I wish for you to feel how I feel. That is my desire. Now I am leaving myself open to being a sinner by saying that because if I do not fulfill that desire I've missed the mark and therefore I have sinned but the mirror of that is I can do nothing without the father I am just a, a tool I am a physical expression of the father don't be put off by the terms I'm just using the terms that most people sort of know whether you believe in them or accept them it doesn't matter I believe I could do a parachute jump, but do I have the experience of doing it? No. So I'm talking from a concept point of view, I'm talking from a belief point of view when I talk about things I have not experienced. Had I have done the parachute jump, then I would be talking from the experience of doing it. God in action. We are expressions. You can have a completely matching leather-bound set of Shakespeare's plays. But do you judge the book by the cover and say they are all the same? Or do you look within the book for the answer to see that they are all different plays, but they are all expressions of what is going on? So while I sat here, it was... I had to, like gypsies or fortune tellers crystal balls in each hand obviously I can't do this with both hands because I'm holding the camera but like now I have this crystal ball in my hand you can't see it I can't see it because it is in the unseen because it is crystal clear but it is right there it showed me things yesterday it showed me biblical events that are to come earthquakes fires floods pestilences are to come that is guaranteed. That is because man has tried to play God. And it goes horribly wrong because it is separation of self by doing that. But when I say there is earthquakes, floods and famines and fires and whatever, don't be literal. Don't take it literally, because I'm not laughing my ass off, am I? I can't physically do that, so it's not literal, it's not figurative. It is metaphysical. It is in the unseen, just as electricity is in the unseen. You can't see it. You can't detect it. You see the outcome of it when it is interacting with something else, like a light bulb. But I'm talking about the light that is in abundance, that is never off, that is always on. The light that fills you within. 
And I can tell you, by God, and I can say that in the true sense of the word, by God, beside, walking with, that this is it. This is now. This is beautiful. This is wonderful. This is the most heavenly experience because this is about bringing heaven to earth. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. I am the way, I am the light. We got into a little game yesterday and because of the English accent, I appear to be from outside the area, not local. So I said, excuse me, could you tell me which way is north? And the gentleman puzzled for a little while and he pointed in a direction and I said, ah, I said, thank you. I said, but it's north, not up. If this is down, therefore that is up. I said, so therefore you do not know the way. I know where north is. I know the way because I am the way. I am with COVID, the out of Egypt COVID. And with that, I will get the full blown Corona. I am getting the full blown Corona. As I sit here on this throne, the irony of playing out this part in this particular play, in this location, in this theatre show, right on Catholic Jesuit ground, the irony of it. <laughs> so we're putting a bit of positive energy into something that has a rather unpleasant overlay onto beautiful nature. Something Christine said on Dream Universe about being in the fast lane and talking about how clones are in the slow lane and things and uh, why I am here is encapsulated in the song you take the low road and I'll take the high road and I'll be in Scotland before ye. Let's put that into context, shall we? You take the low conscious route while I take the high conscious route and I will be in Scotland before you. Where is Scotland? It is expressed by agreement it is on a map. It is to the north. But I'm talking about internally. The Egypt, the Scotland, the anywhere you like is all within the universe, within oneself. So I did take the high road and I did get to Scotland and it has been reflected outward. So we've manifested a bit of Egyptian weather to go with it. To make me feel at home because there is a new pharaoh in town. <laughs> But don't think it is something that is exclusive. It is inclusive. There is nobody excluded. I'm calling the next witness. There are many that have preceded me. There are many that are, will, will come after. That will all find this light within. Because you've been redeemed. You've done the work. You have gone within yourself. You've looked inward. That's where North is. If you want to find where, where north is north is up but it is within you it is in your heavens it is in, in your head between your two temples that's where it all is but remember it's a great reset the solar plexus is in your house of Bethlehem your house of bread which is your stomach the heart of every home is the mother that's your heart the green mother earth you've got your entire family within you but you are inward and outward all one you're just an expression of me I am you and you are me so I don't care that this is a Vatican cash cow I can sit here and I can enjoy the positive aspects of this. And you never know. May even the penny may click with a few people, but uh, it's always good to pay the ferryman two pennies to 
cross over from one realm to another. But be Christ, you choose your time and manner of death, or you allow a system to do it for you. You can let somebody write your script. Or you can start being the gods that you really are, that you have forgotten that you are, and start standing up, take the bull by the horns. Be you, be your true, beautiful expressions of yourself. Reflect your inner positive core, so we become a core us, a universe, a flower of life pattern between us. We are all those book covers of a great play. We are the Bible. We are the living word. The word was made flesh. But flesh is, becomes, remains. It is subject to time. It remains as remains in this domain. But that is not you. You are an eternal spirit. This is just an experience. But like uh, Dr. Robinson says in the Psychiana, you're dealt, a set, you're dealt a hand of cards, but you can change the cards. If you don't like those cards, you can get better cards. You can improve your lot. Unless you want to be like Lot's wife. That, again, is your choice. But I would seriously... And in all honesty, I would say, find the light within. You won't regret it. It is the most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful feeling. There are no regrets. Just a remembrance of oneself. You know who you are. You know that nothing can harm you. Nothing will ever hurt you when you find the I am within you. The meek shall inherit the earth. Who are the meek? The meek is the me key. The key is within me. Seek and ye shall find and the kingdom will be given to you. I'm happy with this temporary throne in this temporary experience in this real to real reality. It would be quite amusing actually if everybody could see things as they really are and below their feet would be absolutely nothing because people don't, they just don't see the unseen between the things that are seen which is quite obscene. But there again they are not an essene, not, they don't have the essence or have they have not found the essence. But it matters not, those that accept the snake oil. They'll be forgiven, they'll be recycled, they just go through an experience and what cards they are dealt, well, that will be of their own choosing. Whatever suits, and they will be dealt a hand, they will be dealt with. Have no fear. All is perfect. It is a divine plan. Trust in the process. Find it within you. You will not find it external to you. My words don't actually mean anything. They're just hopefully a way that will inspire you to find it within you. I told you, I'm doing this for reasons of self. But if myself benefits you, so you find the light in yourself, I'm happy. That is perfect. Have a beautiful day, all of you. I love you all.